We've just released the election manifesto of the Congress Party for Punjab. Punjab is a state with tremendous unexploited potential. This potential has not been exploited because of mismanagement of the government in the last 10 years. Earlier also, Punjab was the victim of terrorism and it has inflicted a great deal of damage on the economy and polity of Punjab. And the challenge before Punjab is to rise all above this din and recognize that the people of Punjab need a better tomorrow. This election manifesto is a forward-looking visionary document which promises the people of Punjab that we will undo the damage that was done to the Punjab economy by the previous government in the last 10 years. We are taking over a completely deficit state. We are deficit in the budget by about 5,000 crores. We are have a debt of about a lakh and 35,000 crores. Today, this government has been operating by selling land, selling buildings, mortgaging buildings, even old age homes and hospitals have been mortgaged to raise funds. Some funds like the Mandi board, which rate prepares the, uh, the, the roads and infrastructure of the, of the villages and all, have been mortgaged for seven years. They've taken the money in advance. So that is the scenario we are taking over. Nevertheless, we have made uh, a very comprehensive uh, manifesto which will be distributed to all of you and you can see for yourself. We have covered every facet of Punjab and we have in it uh, to every walk of and people from all walks of life, all castes, all communities, all poor, all industrial development, all agriculture, all everything. And uh, you will ask how we are going to meet. Like today, one newspaper said that the debt of Punjab's rural debt, I'll give this as an example I'm giving you, is 60,000 crores. It's not 60,000, it's 67,000 crores, the rural debt. But the credit, the, the debt to the farmer for farmer inputs is 31,000 crores. Our population is 2 crores, 90 lakhs. And 90 lakhs of our, yeah, our people are between the ages of 80 and 35, and that's where the job availability is required. We have launched a program, Har Ghar Mein Nokri, and that is 55 lakh households in Punjab, 22 lakh from the urban areas and 33 lakh from the rural areas. So we have to give them jobs. Till such times the jobs are found, we, are, we made a, um, in each district there will be a new setup which will monitor who require jobs, what type of jobs are required, and that will come to us and it will be in the Chief Minister's office that this will be monitored. And then we are starting something very innovative calling uh, Guardians of Governance. Now this is, you know, a lot of money, even Rajiv Ji once said that the money that goes to Kashmir out of one rupee, how many? How many? 16 pesas was the only thing that came on the ground. The same thing has happened here. Take Narega. Naregas are going to the Sarpanches, Sarpanches are all the Kalis. And those Akalis give it to their relations and families and the poor who require the Narega are not given anything. So we, this guardian of governance are entirely ex-servicemen, 100%. We estimate that there will be roughly 25-26 lakh jobs which will be required. I have told you now that when we were in last year, we have done 20 lakh in one year. Mein humne so, covering 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs is not a problem. I think in two or three years we will cover it.